Hello and welcome to another Record Women TV, where over the next 15 minutes we'll feature important issues that matter to you. We'll also have the latest fashion news, showbiz headlines and celeb interviews. Here's what's coming up on today's programme. We meet the plastic surgeon who's given his wife a Wonder Woman makeover. You can find out how to create a stylish and relaxing bedroom. And celebrity master chef winner Lisa Faulkner shows us how to make a tasty but simple dish. First on the show, when David Matlock first met his wife Veronica, she was 40 pounds heavier and looked a little bit different. Well, the plastic surgeon gave her a proposal she simply couldn't resist, a Wonder Woman makeover. Here's their story. How's this for being body conscious? Plastic surgeon David Matlock has created his ideal woman using plastic surgery. He's driving himself and wife Veronica to have perfect bodies through surgery he performs and a gruelling daily diet and workout routine. Veronica met David when she came to him for a vaginoplasty after having her daughter Isabella, but David offered more. He says, would you be interested in a Wonder Woman makeover? I'm like, what's that? Yeah. He's like, lipo of the chin and the arms and the thighs and da 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 da. You know, uh, Brazilian so butt. She opted for everything I suggested. Yeah. Even marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. he, he proposed on the first date. Since then, David has performed a number of procedures on Veronica. I had the laser vaginal rejuvenation, liposuction of multiple areas, Brazilian butt augmentation. I feel like I'm a walking advertisement for him. In his quest for perfection, David has gone under the knife several times himself, using techniques he designed, like state-of-the-art fat implants into his biceps, triceps, calves and pecs to carve a perfect manly physique. I just wanted to take my body to a point where I just, with exercise and diet, you just really couldn't, you couldn't get it there. Like David, Veronica has taken part in bodybuilding competitions and says her husband's pursuit of beauty keeps her motivated to always look her best. He keeps himself looking good, so therefore it's added pressure. Daughter Isabella, who is nine, has not really caught on to the fitness bug yet. We're still working on Isabella, getting her mm -hmm. to be more accepting of being healthy, you know? If we tell her she's eating healthy, she says, oh no, healthy food doesn't taste good. Despite her parents' obsession, Isabella doesn't want plastic surgery. I would never really want to get surgery because it's not really you. Like, I want to be myself. Now David and Veronica spend a lot of time perfecting their appearance. So I'm concerned about, you know, these lines on okay. my forehead. Good Lord Almighty. David is one of America's top experts for male cosmetic surgery, and many bodybuilders go to him for his pioneering fat transfers. I can sculpt her out the biceps, the triceps, take the fat under ultrasonic guidance and inject it into the muscle. Okay, I say, hey, I have it. Look at this, feel this, it's nice, it's natural. And food is a big part of that obsession. A lot of my business is fat, doing liposuction all the time, but I, I don't like fat, you know? So I mean, I tell people I watch my weight and I watch my wife's weight too. <laughs> but even though David readily encourages Veronica to go under the knife, she feels he loves her for who she is. I know that David loves me for who I am because when I walked into his office, I was like about 20 pounds heavier and he said that when he saw me, it was love at first sight. For richer or poor, till death do us part, yes. <laughs> but not fat or skinny. <laughs> yeah. There's a fat clause there. Well, Carla joins me now. Veronica, she looks absolutely awesome there, Carla. What a difference. What a difference. Fabulous. A bit hardcore right enough. Just a wee bit. <laughs> now, as the viewers know, this is the part of the show where we choose a woman who we think deserves some special recognition. Who's the candidate this week? This week, Lindsay, we have the lovely Katie Piper. Katie Piper is featuring in the Marks and Spencer's Leading Ladies mm -hmm, campaign. Yeah. She's um, looking gorgeous, isn't she? Fabulous, brilliant. and. In the campaign, she says, what happens to you doesn't have to define you, it's what you do afterwards, which I think is very apt considering what Katie has been through. And for those who don't know what she's been through, she has had a horrific time, hasn't mm -hmm. she? At the age of 24, Katie was subjected to a brutal acid attack, acid thrown all over her face. Yeah. She had to undergo life-changing, you know, her injuries were life-changing, yeah. surgery for years. and. 
even despite this, she's managed to forge a career out for she's herself. She's like a TV presenter and obviously a model. Yeah. And she is a, a spokesperson for a lot of organisations, mm -hmm. you know, for women who have had bad things happen yeah, to them, uh -huh. she? And she set up her own charity, the Katie Piper Foundation, mm -hmm. which is fantastic and she's doing a lot of good and she's a complete inspiration to yeah. us all out there. So. A well-deserved candidate, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, Carla, we'll be seeing much more of you later on, but thank you for the moment. Thank you. Now, I don't know about you, but my bedroom is the favourite place in my flat. Here's some tips and advice on how to have a beautiful boudoir. Hi, I'm Toby. I'm a home design advisor at John Lewis, and I'm here today to talk you through how to put together the perfect bedroom, either as an indulgent master bedroom or for a great guest bedroom. The aim is to create a calming space that's instantly relaxing. Of course, the focus of uh, any bedroom is always the bed. So if you've got the opportunity, go for uh, a, an oversized upholstered headboard. Um, or if you're redecorating around your existing furniture, then think about a feature wall or a large scale print centered over the head of the bed to draw focus. There's a huge range of uh, mattresses, duvets and pillows available. Uh, and with these, I'd always advise going for the best you can afford. It, it always works out better in the long term. Duvets are measured in TOG ratings from about three for a spring summer duvet up to 13 for a warmer winter duvet. Um, and you can also get custom duvets made uh, with a different TOG rating on each half so that you and your partner can both get a perfect night's sleep. Synthetic fillings are, are ideal if you're asthmatic or you have allergies. Um, also, if you want to wash your duvet quite frequently. Natural fillings like duck feather and down, uh, they do need professionally cleaning, but they will last much, much longer than synthetic ones. For the bedding, choose uh, satin or silk finishes for a really luxurious feel. And, and this works across the palette from uh, deeper, typically masculine tones, uh, softer, typically more feminine tones. Uh, and of course, there's always classic whites as well. The quality of bed linen is uh, measured in thread count, which is basically how many threads there are in each square inch of fabric. This ranges from about 200 up to a about 1,000. Uh, and essentially the finer the thread, the more there are uh, and the softer and more luxurious the fabric is. Plenty of pillows and cushions is a must. Uh, and if you like sitting up in bed either to read or watch TV, then think about some uh, large square pillows as well. Uh, they're much, much more comfortable for sitting up against. Adding layers and contrast to the bed with cushions and throws really helps to kind of add that kind of luxurious feel to the bed. Um, pair up the cushions on, on either side of the bed and then uh, a throw across the foot of the bed, either folded as a runner or draped to the floor for a more classic look. Um, all adds texture and depth and to give the bed a much, much more inviting feel. And finally, if you're after something truly unique, you could think about bespoke furnishings for these finishing touches. Um, it really makes the difference and whether it's for yourself or for a guest room um, it's that hotel feel but with all the comforts of home. Some great advice there from Toby. Now Lisa Faulkner cooked up a storm a few years ago when she won Celebrity MasterChef. Well here she is showing us how to make a simple but tasty dish. miso honey aubergines. Now this is a really healthy and very simple dish. It's got lovely ingredients, really really fresh and really low in fat. So I've got some garlic here which I've just grated and some grated ginger. Then we've got a tiny bit of sesame oil and this is why I say it's nearly fat free because it's just got a tiny tiny bit of sesame oil in. Then I've got some runny honey a nice tablespoon or a nice drizzle, but feel free to add more or less. I don't like it really sweet, so I don't add very much. Then I've got white miso paste here, which is the base for this dish. You can get it in most supermarkets now, so don't be afraid of it. It's really sweet. It's the basis for miso soup, and it's delicious, absolutely delicious. Now, I always use a good quality soy sauce, something like Kickerman. It's been naturally brewed for a long time. A nice tablespoon, and so you've got that really lovely flavor. What's great about this is completely low, no fat, no fat whatsoever. And I use it instead of salt in most dishes. And then I'm just gonna mix this up. And then what you want to do is sort of loosen it with a bit of water. The soy and the sesame are amazing. I think they're a match made in heaven. A good three tablespoons. 
So, I'm going to leave that to sit and I've got my aubergines here. Now, as I said before, this can be a really good main dish or also a lovely side dish. A lot of the time you hear about salting aubergines, which you do have to do for certain dishes, but not for this. You don't have to worry about it. So now you've got your aubergine, what you need to do is we're just going to score and try not to score through the skin, a diamond pattern. I'm doing this so that once it's done, you'll get little tiny pockets, which will then fill with this beautiful, beautiful sauce. So you can see you've got those pockets. These are now scored. So I'm going to put them on a baking tray. Now the thing with aubergine, some people could say they were quite bland. And what's lovely about this mixture is that I've used lots and lots of punchy ingredients and really lovely flavour. And then I'm just going to brush this over dressing. So there are meant to be four flavours. There's sweet, sour, salty, bitter. And then the fifth, which Misa contains, is umami. What you don't want is all this beautiful sauce going to waste. Push it down into those pockets. So there you have it. I'm going to put this in the oven at 180 for about 20-25 minutes. But it depends on the size of your aubergine. If you've got a big one, it's going to take slightly longer. So here they are, ready. And now it's a case of plating them up. Now what's lovely about this, I think, is that it is really healthy, it's a very healthy dish, but I don't want to eat healthily and substitute flavour, and this is high flavour and good for you at the same time. I'm going to add some spring onion, and then some sesame seeds. And there you have it, the very delicious, packed with flavour, honey miso aubergine. A fantastic recipe there from Lisa Faulkner. Well, Carla joins me once again. Carla, who are we going for this week in the showbiz section of the news? One woman in particular is <laughs> back in the headlines. Who are we always going for, <laughs> Lindsay? It's the one and only Miley Cyrus. <laughs> there, are, the video she's brought out, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? Insane. I mean, here, we were thinking we wouldn't have anything to talk about after Twerkgate, but she's <laughs> brought us another absolute... <laughs> Belter of a video. <laughs> um, Basically, you know, the video, she sat on a wrecking ball yes, naked. Naked. Very provocative. Uh -huh. but do you think she's sexy though? No, I think she's overdone it now and the majority of people I've spoken to think yeah. she's overdone it too. I mean, swinging about naked <laughs> on a wrecking ball and licking the chain and things, it's just... It's, it's a bit soft porn really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a bit much. At the start, you know, the start Fine, of the video. Quite she's, sexy, great yeah, figure. Uh huh, but no, no. She goes too far. She's went too far in this one. The song is a great song. Yeah. It's just the video. Yeah, what else can we say? I think she's <laughs> just trying to be too controversial. <laughs> a great week then for Michelle Keegan. Yes, Michelle Keegan um, has been proposed to by Mark Wright of the own, or formerly the only way is Essex. Gorgeous looking couple, aren't they, really? Yes, and very tanned. <laughs> very tanned, very <laughs> 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 they were in Dubai, holidaying in Dubai, and Mark proposed with what is reported to be a monstrous rock of wow. a ring. So we've yet to see the, the diamond. I'm but sure she'll tweet it soon enough. She's yeah, good at that. Yeah, she is. So expect a, a massive wedding on their part, yeah? Yeah, I can imagine it'll be Hello mm. Central, won't it? Yeah, Big uh -huh. magazine deals. Definitely. Speaking of someone else who's looking fantastic, Britney Spears, she's really undergone such a transformation recently, hasn't she? Yeah, uh -huh. Britney's been ramping up the yoga sessions and cardio sessions. I go to yoga, but I don't look like that. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking, I was like, where did I sign up for these yoga <laughs> sessions that Britney's been having? Um, and advance of her shows in Las Vegas, Vegas yeah. yeah, and also she has a single coming out as well. Um, she was photographed today, we have it in the, the record, and she's pictured in an itsy bitsy teeny weeny little blue bikini yeah, and looks amazing. amazing. She's finally got her act together, hasn't she? Yeah. Where she's getting her act together, Miley seems to be following down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a role reserve reversal for these Disney kids, Just isn't a bit, it? Yeah. 
<laughs> and finally, the women at the Daily Record had a treat at the weekend because Tom Daly came in for a wee visit. It yes. was just, the women of all ages were just mesmerised by him because he's such a handsome, lovely guy, and very professional. Uh -huh. I've never known so many women to want to work on a Sunday, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you, you but, yeah. <laughs> and you, you said he was taller than he you thought as well. He was taller than I thought uh -huh. he would be because he looks quite small on telly. Yeah. But yeah, he came in and you know he signed autographs and you did some awesome interviews with the paper and he's such a good ambassador for 2014. He definitely is um, and had a great day in Glasgow and was um, really praising of the city so that's yeah, great, well that's done great Tom. that's great news, yeah you can come back anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and so can you Carla, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. Well I'm afraid that's all we've got time for here at Record Women TV. Until the next time, bye bye for now.